Thumb space, like Meta just jumps up the mountain. It's yeah. like, bro, it's like, you got it. Just, just get up there. We know you can do it. We know he can get all the way back if he wants to. Still could win this whole event. Mm -hmm. All right. We have another set coming up. We got um, Frag Frag Toast and, and MS, I believe. Oh, is that MS? Or okay. H is that MS? It, it might be an H. I don't know. Looks like MS. I think it's MS. Oh, nice. He's another Silex player. Silex represent. Silex MS? Okay, sure, true. NS, okay. NS, yeah. Oh, it's Toad. Oh, NS is no style. Silex, oh. no style, Toad. <laughs> oh, it's Toad. It's okay. Toad. Okay. It's Toad. I couldn't recognize him with this. Yeah, and on. there's like there's two different players that we have that are like it's like F G and like something else. We have two players that are just like two letter tags. So I was like, yeah, NS, that sounds familiar. That sounds like a player. Yeah, not sure where No Style came from. They just kind of came out of nowhere and sponsored a bunch of players. So it's nice to see a bunch of them at the Arcadian. But we all know the the best sponsor is FNS. Let's let's be honest. <laughs> I think NS is run by Nick SF, at least partially. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, so. yeah. makes sense. Makes sense. But there, there's a lot of players under it. You got like 10, 15 players under it, bro. Yeah. It's actually crazy. So this is going to be um, Terry versus Falco. I cannot claim to know anything about this matchup. Yeah. He might we'll just have to see how it goes. Knowing Toad, he might go Pokemon Trainer. I think knowing Toad, he also hates Pokemon Trainer. <laughs> yeah. All right, he's sticking with the Falco. Yeah, all right, definitely right. going to start out with this and then maybe go from there. All right. We got Blue Terry with the red back. Okay, never mind. He switched to Blue Falco. I was going to say we got Red Falco with the blue back. Uh, blue with the green back now. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Game number one, PS2 classic here. Yeah, we got my man Toad with the Jungle Cat tag. Fragtos with the PP tag. You love to see it. Yeah, he's going to sit back, shoot lasers, force Terry to come in. Because Terry wants to crack shoot in. And you yeah. can go over the lasers if you time it well, but uh, not the easiest thing to do. So Toad Rex is just going to be sitting down here, waiting for him to come in and then get this big combo for himself. Yeah, Toad Rex sitting pretty right now with a nice percentage lead. But we'll see how he deals with Fragtos. Uh, Fragtos has some pretty good, uh, you know, Terry options. So back are going to shoot him all the way out. Toad underscore oh. Rex just running away with his first stock right now. Bye-bye. Yeah. yeah, unnecessarily going off and showing him who's boss. He did not need to go for that back here, but he did anyways. You know, and this is my town. And you can tell, look how campy that Toad is playing. Oh. And that's, that's smart. He just retreated all the way out there. Yep. Now he's just above Falco, and what do you do? What can you do? Falco is, it just has so many good burst options that he can just smother you, especially with these up tilt combos. And if he's in back, you can tell he's waiting for <laughs> Fragdo to come in. Fragdo just keeps jumping in, though. It's like Terry is not a character that approaches with oh jump ins. Oh my god, Toad, you're insane! Toad, oh. My, my boy Toad just went for that. Crazy F smash and takes the stock, sitting pretty with a three stock lead with a power dunk. All right, all right. All Finally right. getting some openings for himself. Oh, no jump. Oh. Bye bye. Yeah, just no. You know what? Toad didn't even need that stock. He really didn't. But Fragdos, like I said, Fragdos keeps jumping in with aerials, like landing or rising. And Toad is just going, like, okay, grab, okay, okay. grab, okay, grab. Like, are you going to keep doing it? I'll keep punishing you. But Fragdos mixing up for himself. Finally getting a big combo going. Found the advantage state that he needed. Oh, okay. Right, there he is. He's staying on the ground alone. We're not jumping in with aerials. And now, look at that. Look how much closer it is. Oh, Toad's look. still playing very patient. Yeah, Toad can just afford to sit back, pop these lasers off. Oh, nice little spot dodge there. He knows Toad wants to be aggressive. So if he just Ooh. offers a bit more of defense, he can start punishing his aggression. And that's going to take that stock. Now sitting at one stock apiece. You gotta be careful because Terry is halfway to getting his go meter, and you do not want to fight Terry with go. You gotta kill him sub 100. And despite how that game was starting, uh, it's looking good for Fragtos. He has so much momentum under his belt now that he finally figured out how he's wanting to play neutral here. Because yep. his advantage shades have been explosive, but so have Toads. Oh. Yeah, Fragtos has been doing really good with these dodges, able to save. Oh, that that was a. Uh, that was a bit wonky, jab, but, you know, but, <laughs> but nothing happened, so so we're cool. Yeah, if you're jumping around like this, you gotta wonder if a power guy's just, just gonna rock him out. Yep. So the back air is just gonna come out, send him all the way across the stage. Not death yet, but. Oh, okay. Still has a jump. Oh, he actually went for the tech. dare, which is surprising. Get the tech. Yep. You do not want to try to contest Terry's legs because they have, um, 
I, they have invincibility or something? I, I have no idea. Yeah, I just I just don't. Oh, oh my god! You just don't want to contest the Terry. Catching him running off the platform there, trying to just get his solid ground under his foot. Catching the landing from so far away is Fragtos stealing that game one away from Toad in a reverse three stock. Yeah, Fragtos not only stealing the game and saying I don't need this hat, I'm gonna throw my hat away. It's like oh. I don't deserve the power. Have you seen? Oh, Toad like taking the sweater like, off. That's the power up right there. That's the real power up. Like Mario 64, like Mario gets his, his hat off and he loses a bunch of power. Yeah. Like you take more damage. He's like, I don't need it. <laughs> Bro, it's a crutch. I can beat you either way. Yeah, he said the fight is over. I don't need this hat. All right, going into game two. How is how is Toad going to handle this? Because he was solidly winning that first game, but a couple options from Terry robbed him of his game one win. So Toad is going to have to play extra smart right now. Yeah, the patient game uh, kind of stopped working out for him once practice realized how to mix up his approach options. It's still kind of what you need to do and what Falco does in general, but he's got to be careful with how he's playing his, uh, his patient neutral. Mm -hmm. Once again, Toad getting this percentage lead here, but knowing Terry, Terry doesn't care what position you're in because Terry can just do whatever he wants sometimes. Still alive, though. A really smart Nair yeah. going to drag him from behind. But he's still alive, and he has Go under his belt now. Toad, though. Up smash? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> he waited on it a bit. He wasn't sure what was happening, but he got it. Yeah, getting that nice up smash out of shield. Now Toad can he can play a little bit more comfortably, but knowing from last game, he can't be too comfortable because that's that might have been what had him lose the game. Oh, my God. Two side Bs there. And uh, one of them is going to connect and get a combo out of it. I'm seeing a lot of F tilt. Just as like out of shield punishes, just boop. Just a little kick. Okay. Oh, Toad. Back here. That was a nice little conversion there. Trying to go for the edge guard, but not working. Here we go for another edge guard. Oh, Terry somehow making it back. And second hit of up smash gonna connect. Yep. Once again, a solid three stock lead for Toad. Remember, this is how yep. the last game looked, and Fragtos brought it all the way back. Is history going to repeat itself here? Or uh, is Toad gonna just seal this one out as solidly as it looks right now? Oh, getting that nice spot dodge. Well, like I said before, Fragtos' defensive options are actually paying off the dividends right now. That was a really creative combo there with like the wall jump side B and everything from Toad. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was a yeah. nice little setup there. I like it. Now, Fragtos still down a stock, but like I said, we've seen him bring it back. Mm -hmm. This could definitely still just go either way right now. And if you're Toad, that would feel awful to just get come back on twice like that in the one set. Mm -hmm. This is losers as well. Yeah, you cannot sleep on Terry at all. Once he gets into his advantage state and he continues to push it, you oh, just, nice down there. You yep. feel it. All right, Toad, going to seal that one out quite solidly. It was slowly crawling back there from Fragtos, but the, the combos and advantage states from Toad there was, seemed a lot more solid. Mm -hmm. Like, they were really good game one. He was getting crazy combos, but then on that last talk, they were all falling apart. But some of the combos there and like setups were really creative. Like we saw the Nair on the edge guard because he was behind him. It dragged him from behind. We saw him do like reverse around and then do the up tilt to get it easier into the back air and everything. There's just a lot more situational, situational awareness coming up from Toad that game. And Fragtos also going for the power up. Oh. Taking the sweater off. They're both taking it off. Inhibitors are off. Game three. The, the power, the weighted clothing is now off. We got Goku. We got base Goku here. All right, what are they going for? It looks like they're opting for Smashville. Uh, oh, where are they going? Okay, Town and City. Town right. and City, got a nice big stage here. Yep. I don't think platforms were really mattering too much. So we'll have to see how much different. It's still a pretty big stage, still small side blast zone. So I don't think it'll end up changing too much. All right. Another game three on stream. Toad versus Fragtoast. Almost called him Frag Toad, but he might have to change his name to Toad Fragger after this game. <laughs> Frag underscore Toad. <laughs> and the power dunk starting out. Frag Toad just right up in Toad's face, mm -hmm. but uh, Toad's happy with that because he can just swing the up tilt, eventually hit one and get a nice combo for himself. But uh, I guess Frag Toast can also just do with the same. Yeah, Frag Toast is. Kind of kind of coming into his own on this game. Now with the percent lead, and he's playing around a lot more of Toad's options. Yep. 
Oh, okay. I almost was gonna say, that might have been a bad side B, but Toad actually the one able to capitalize off it. He's not able to find that edge guard, does get the angle, recognizing he would get pineapple. Oh. oh. A very uh, ambitious up B there, really wanting to seal out that stock, and Toad gets some nice percent off it, getting him into the go range. Yeah, Toad needs to... So many empty hops, oh my god. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like I, I was just about to say, Toad needs to bait him into committing something and then punishing him for it, and we see it right there. Yeah, because yeah, cause Toad was doing so many empty oh. hops, and that's why he wanted that uh, power geyser. Yeah. And that is it. Nice yeah. down air there from Toad is going to seal that first stock. Yeah, it doesn't get the sweet spot, but he does get just enough of a hit to knock him into a position where he can't recover. And now we see Toad getting this nice little combo, furthering his advantage. Oh, okay, yeah. that would have been, I think that might have jab locked for something, but. No, it just it just combos. Yeah. Like if you catch the roll or something, you can just flat out combo. <laughs> oh my oh. God, power dunk all the way across the stage, gonna seal it there from Frag Toast. Yeah, the up tilt by Toad, unfortunately extending his hitbox, or her box a little bit too much. Yeah, waiting oh. for the option, Terry's disadvantage is quite bad. You just wait for him to do one of his options and then punish it. Because he eventually has to go with one and they're pretty laggy and you can just see him coming. Yeah. Falco also having a really high jump. So if you go high, he can just meet you right there at that spot and punish you. And we've been seeing Toad do some pretty uh, do some pretty crazy stuff. He, he was trying to go for another uh, follow up there with that with that extremely high double jump. Yeah. Like I, I want to tell Fragdos like, hey, you like you shouldn't be approaching here, but uh, I guess you got to like Falco with laser. You got, you're kind of forced to because he's just really staying back and getting so much out of the fact that he's forcing Fragdos to approach. And uh, Fragdos, though, is getting a lot out of his combos. Yeah. Unfortunately, not able to find that stock there. But they are just playing around each other and going for the same option again. Toad really has to be careful when Terry is in shield because that up special is going to come out. Mm -hmm. Oh. Not able to find the combo there. Up smash. Yeah, he was sharking for that up smash. But uh, last minute, Fragdos changes it up with the down B. Yeah, and Toad, now at 42%, taking quite a bit of damage from Terry off this one interaction. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> He's getting multiple jab threes in a row because he doesn't expect the jab to connect. Okay, and, is this uh, going to be it? Oh, I thought the uh, are you okay is, was going to come out. It's looking bad here for Toad. It's just all falling apart from yeah. this go. Buster Wolf. Yeah. Are you okay? No, you are not because You're the not. game out is of over. 2-1 in the favor of Fragtoast, and he is going to advance into the top 24 bracket. Toad is going to be bowing out.